in the book In Over Our Heads, um, I was suggesting that, yes, you could, you could take a look at the nature of the demands that are increasingly going to be made of adults in their work lives, but in their family lives and their civic lives as well. And you could then look at these demands as a kind of hidden curriculum that uh, most adults take up a number of frequented roles in adult life. They, most, most adults take up work. Most adults seek for an intimate relationship with another person that will last over a long period of time, whether in a conventional, a conventional marriage or uh, in some other arrangement. Most adults take on uh, the role of parenting, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, whether biologically or through adoption or blended families, take on uh, a kind of extended uh, uh, responsibility for the next generation. And uh, each of these roles carries with it a certain set of mental demands. And I was trying to ferret out what is the nature of those demands, what is the level of complexity that's going to be necessary to meet those demands, uh, which is essentially a kind of grandiose version of what a developmental psychologists do with with actual traditional curriculum. You, you give a curriculum, you know, a social studies or a history curriculum, a math curriculum, uh, to a developmental psychologist, and the developmental psychologist will ask you, what age children are you thinking to give this uh, curriculum to? And then the developmental psychologist can help you assess whether that curriculum is going to be too far over the head of the learners or or too far below them, so too easily mastered, or whether it's going to be at that optimal point. The optimal point is a curriculum that is actually just a little bit too complex for the person at the very beginning, so that it creates a kind of space that you have to grow into in order to master the curriculum. <clears throat> so that book, which is called In Over Our Heads, In Over Our Heads sounds like a dire state, but actually a curriculum that is just a little over our heads is the optimal curriculum for our learning. What I argued in that book is that there is, from a research point of view, we see that a majority of adults have not yet reached the self-authoring mind, but that the curriculum increasingly requires of adults this level of mental complexity. So whether you're talking about parents, you know, who have to set limits, you know, on their kids, or intimate relations that must survive the romantic phase of the relationship, or whether you're talking about context of work where people are going to be increasingly asked to uh, exercise greater degrees of personal initiative, you keep seeing over and over again a demand for a level of mental complexity, this thing we call self-authorship, which is actually a bit over our heads for some portion of our adult lives. That is not in and of itself a bad thing, provided that if we're going to continue this metaphor of the culture as a kind of school, that the culture does a good job not just stimulating you with a challenging curriculum, but also supporting you with uh, adequate and, and talented and effective supports to master that curriculum. It would be uh, a not very stimulating school if everybody could master the curriculum on the first day of school, it would also be a cruel school if the curriculum were over our heads and then there were no supports to master it. So the ideal situation is one of a challenging curriculum and supports to master it. You asked if the circumstances have changed in the, I don't know, 20 years since that book was written. Yes, I would say that the ways in which circumstances have changed have been only in the direction of confirming the basic argument of that book, which could sound like a rather self-satisfied thing to say, but I don't mean it in a self-congratulatory way. I just mean it that today an organization less looks like some kind of novel, cutting-edge organization to be making these demands for self-authorship. It's just becoming more and more uh, true.